This takes us to New Mexico, and uh, we are looking here at the website for the Satanic Temple. They're going to launch a reproductive health clinic in the state offering abortion services. The controversial story spreading all over the internet, of course. Shalice Blythe, a minister of Satan, joins us live to talk a little bit more about this and the reasoning behind it. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. So first off, just kind of explain to me what's going on, because I know that this is over in New Mexico. And, you know, why was New Mexico chosen and what is going to happen here? Um, yeah, so just to uh, uh, clarify what exactly we're doing. Um, so the Satanic Temple has already launched. So we've been open since yesterday, February 14th. Um, a telehealth uh, religious abortion clinic that is um, providing material support for those who want to have uh, to engage in the religious abortion ritual. Um, so how this will work is uh, prospective patients will complete a brief confidential online screening form and review information on performing TST's religious abortion ritual. Um, a telehealth video appointment with a uh, licensed haircut healthcare protector <laughs> practitioners uh, will uh, then be scheduled and eligible patients will then be able to order uh, medication from our partner pharmacy. So uh, this is a telehealth clinic. Uh, this is no brick and mortar. Um, we are uh, providing abortifacients. So the um, the two um, abortifacient pills, uh, we are not uh, providing any surgical services. So after uh, the patient is approved, uh, the medication will then be discreetly packaged and arrived uh, in the mail two to three days after the order is placed. And then of course, uh, our staff will be available to patients by phone, text or video chat every step of the way. And we also provide ordained ministers to assist in the religious abortion ritual itself. Um, but as far as New Mexico, um, New Mexico currently has uh, the best set of laws right now to support telehealth care, as well as um, you know abortion laws uh, to you know, to allow us to do this. And since it is our first foray into this, uh, you know, it's it's uh, really good to get our start there, as well as its proximity to other states that have a lot more um, uh, restrictions, such as Arizona and Texas. And I should have asked you this earlier, but kind of uh, walk me through the temple's views when you're talking about abortion and things of that nature. Of course. So as Satanists, um, we are guided by our sincere and deeply held beliefs. And so those beliefs hold that we have an inviolable right to make decisions about our own bodies and that those decisions are ours alone to make and should be based on our best scientific understanding of the world. Um, we also hold that when either of these things are violated or under threat by laws and institutions, it is our duty to stand firm against them. So um, when we talk about the topic of abortion, I mean, I know there's always a lot of rhetoric surrounding um, you know, when life begins and, you know, the, the morality of the topic of abortion. But um, since the morality of abortion, you know, tends to stem from a religious point of view, um, you know, we do not uh, we do not view abortion as the killing of an individual living being that is separate from the pregnant person. Um, you know, it's uh, you know what this uh, solely is about is, you know, we are guided by our tenets of bodily autonomy, basing our best uh, understanding of the world on scientific evidence and therefore or we are treating this as a uh, um, ability for us to engage in our religious practice, which focuses, not focuses, but, um, you know, uh, bodily autonomy is, is paramount to that and, and the decisions people make about them. So have you faced any pushback from the local lawmakers there? Um, not, not so far. Um, not that we're aware of. Um, uh, no, uh, we haven't gotten any responses from any New Mexico politicians at this time. So, um, and you know, this, this uh, clinic is possible because New Mexico values religious freedom as well as accessibility to reproductive health care. Do you have any plans to expand to any other states? I know right now you're kind of sticking with New Mexico, but are there other plans in the works to go to some of the other states? Um, so we do plan on expanding eventually um, as uh, we're only on day two of its operations. So uh, we, we definitely want to make sure we focus on getting everything up and running and, and settled with what we currently have before we, we expand. But yes, um, our plan is to uh, make our services, uh, the material support for the religious abortion ritual to um, people in other states, including ones that uh, have prohibitions. Uh, at that time, we would definitely be utilizing our rights under RIFRA to make that possible. 
So does a woman have to join uh, the Satanic Temple to actually use these services, or is it open to everyone? Um, our services are open to anybody who, uh, pursuant to their deeply held religious beliefs or deeply held beliefs, um, want to partake in the religious abortion rituals. So um, whether that's um, somebody who identifies as a TST Satanist or uh, who is a member or maybe somebody who is not a member, our services are available. Why do you think the Satanic Temple is so controversial? This story here has gone viral as so many people are talking about it. Why is it controversial to folks out there? Well, I think the topic of Satan will always be controversial. Um, anytime you say the word, um, it, it definitely inspires a, a fear of, of you know, what people think we are as opposed to who we are. Um, so that will be controversial no matter what. You say Satan, all of a sudden heads will turn. Um, but you know, the Satanic Temple has always uh, been um, working towards uh, religious reproductive rights, um, asserting, uh, you know, affirming that, you know, pursuant to our religious beliefs that we have uh, the invaluable right to our bodies and therefore to make decisions about our bodies and that you know includes reproductive justice so um, when you tie Satan with the topic of abortion which you know abortion is a very controversial topic despite the fact that it shouldn't be um, you know for the reasons that it is controversial um, yeah it's uh, I can understand I can understand why um, and despite the fact that we wish it wasn't um, you know we have to we have to you know be be real you know realistic about that so um, you know it is controversial Controversial, but sometimes the controversy a controversy can um, help us make sure that people who are in need of our services are aware that they are available. All right, Shalise, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on.